guys. This iron farm is amazing. Hello, everybody. I am the Goofy Geek, and I'm here with another episode of Building Giant Pokemon in Minecraft. Last time we were here, I built Ferrothorn here, my massive, crazy efficient iron farm. I will tell you guys, I went on a small journey to try and find myself a place to build some stuff for our next farm. This was empty, uh, except for just enough to sort it. And this one was completely empty. I think we have a good farm here. So, let's... Oh, I'm gonna always... I swear, when I'm not on camera, I can make that every time. But yes, when last we were on, like I said, we were building Ferrothorn here. But the problem with building Ferrothorn is that I ran out of dye very quickly. It's one of the reasons his arms are made of moss. Now, to get all that light gray dye, what I did was I went hunting for squid. And why was I hunting for squid? Because to be honest, killing the squid, there are no squids here. Normally there's like a ton of squids here. Killing the squids was way faster than me trying to get the dye through, say, plants. Which is honestly a much better way to get light gray dye. So because of that, today, we're gonna build a dye farm. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die trying to take this shot. Hello. Hi. How are you? So, I have scoped out an area over here. Originally, I was going to build it like a million miles away at a flower farm that I found. Oh, I should sleep. That's better. A, not flower farm, a flower forest? All the way that way. About, nope, actually it's that way, about 2,000 blocks. And that's really far away, considering how often I'm going to need to use it. But I want to make sure, you know, ow. I'll make sure I put it in a good area. So, I think... This little alcove right here will make a great spot for a flower farm. Now, I've done a little bit of experimenting here, as you can see. Uh, it was my understanding that if you, like, you broke a flower and then hit that same spot with bone meal enough times to get the same flower, you get the same one every time, which... See? I broke a blue one, and now I have a red one there. So back in 1.18 and 1.17, if you broke a flower and hit it with the bone meal enough times to get a new flower, you'd get the same flower. Clearly, things have changed since then, as uh, you just saw it yourself. That red flower used to be blue. Oh, and that time it was yellow. So apparently, uh, the flower farm setup is different than it used to be. But the one good thing is that it seems to be the same kind of flowers. So I've got these guys all... Ow. I've got these guys all sorted there. Let's take a look and see what flowers I need to cover every dye type. Obviously, uh, I don't really have a good setup for... Oh, here's some squid. I don't have a good setup to get black dye outside of hunting squids right now. But thankfully, not a lot of Pokemon are just black in color, so that works out well for me. Uh, the gray dye, I think the regular gray dye is going to be the only uh, downside there. But yeah... I think we're gonna build a flower farm right over here, and then uh, we'll wrap it up in a Pokemon. So uh, let's get to building uh, this farm. Actually, we're not gonna build a farm yet, because first I actually wanna build the giant Pokemon. Uh, I think that it would make a lot more sense to try and put the farm in the Pokemon than the Pokemon in the farm this time around, especially considering what Pokemon that I'm going to build. So we're going to do that instead, and then we'll add the farm to it. And once you see what Pokemon I have picked, and how big this Pokemon actually ended up being, because I had to do it right, uh, you'll see why I've decided to take this down and rebuild it in a different way. So, I have torn down the establishment. No, I have torn down the little bit of a uh, test that I had there, because we're going to build a farm Nope, we're going to build a Pokemon instead. Let's get to it.
All right, you guys, and here we have Blossom. I think that Blossom is going to make a great... Oh, about to crash. I think she's going to make a great flower farm. Uh, she's not too far away from everything else. I'm thinking I might put Cacnea over here because uh, she produces everything except for... That's not a rocket. That's a fish. Uh, she produces everything except for a cactus. And obviously with the roses, because with the roses would mean she would be exploding right now. But, uh, and then the cactus, I don't have enough space in there for a full cactus farm. Uh, speaking of space, and then let me show you. As you can see, there is plenty of space inside here for, uh, the dyes. Yes, she's watching us. It's not at all creepy. But yeah, no, I think if I put, uh, maybe a unit over here for, like, the main flower farm... And then a little side unit to have, like, the two high flowers. I think we'll be able to get just about every color out of here. Uh, in fact, actually, let's take a look at what colors we need specifically. So these are all the different ways to make the different dyes. As you can see, red requires the poppy, although it can also take the rose bush. I do have some of those. Orange requires a red and a yellow. Yellow is this one. Blue dye, obviously the cactus, like I said. I think this one's pink and this one's magenta. If not, I've got them backwards, but that's fine. But yeah, I think that all of these flowers here can be harvested by the farm design I was showing you guys before. And then everything else that I don't get from here, I'll either get from the cactus over there when I build it next time, or it will be uh, from this ocean over here. I might try and rig up a quick and dirty... Uh, don't not a rocket. Uh, a squid farm, but I haven't seen too many squid over here, to be entirely honest. So I don't know if that would work. But, uh, yeah. Let's get to uh, building the farm itself inside of Blossom. Oh, and if you're wondering why Blossom, oh, look at her. She's adorable. I think that this one is definitely one of the better designs of all the flower Pokemon, if I'm being entirely honest. As well as we'll have enough room inside for the farms I want to make. So yeah, let's get to building those farms. So rather than cutting to another musical montage, I'm actually going to use this opportunity to talk to you guys for a second. As these farms really don't take up enough of a time lapse to actually warrant a song. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to talk. Uh, first things first, this flower farm I got from, I believe, Logical Geek Boy. Uh, it is a fantastic farm. And it is a great design, and I'm going to drop a link in the description down below. Also, at this point, I've basically built all the Pokemon that I need to build. So if you guys want to see anything specific, uh, leave a comment. I am effectively taking requests at this point uh, because I've got over a thousand now with the release of Scarlet and Violet. And I would not mind having a place to start. Oh, and also... I built a cactus farm anyways, because I actually had a lot more room than I was expecting to, and I figured I might as well get that started now, before I build a real cactus farm later. Alrighty, you guys, so the flower farm is done, but uh, apparently I forgot to hit record for my next thing, as I also built a cactus farm. <laughs> as you can see, a little big. Uh, but it's, it's not the most efficient thing in the world, unfortunately. It's, it's very tall, but not very, uh, wide until you get really up into the head of the Pokemon. Uh, I AFK'd last night to get all this cactus, so it is working. But yes, we do have our flower farm. It is fully functional. And we also have all the different dyes here. And, uh, let's go over each one of them. So for the red dye, I do have access to this guy here which makes me the red flowers that I need for that. For the yellow dye, actually for a whole bunch of the dyes, let's run this real quick. It's very loud unless I do this. For the yellow dyes, I get them from these dandelions. Orange, just mix the red and yellow, nice and easy. The green, is obviously from the cactus farm. Blue is from the blue flowers here. Uh, purple, I just mix the red and the blue. 
White, I admittedly, I do get from my uh, bone meal farm, but I have loaded it just in case, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, pink is from, I think, uh, the peonies here. Magenta is from the lilacs. The brown dye is obviously from these guys here. Lime is the green and the white. So I got plenty of white here ready to go. I'm just waiting for the green to finish cooking. Yes, there's some other junk in there. Same for the light blue. I have plenty of blue. Or I have plenty of light blue. Not a lot of blue left. I gotta I gotta run the farm a little bit. Cyan, same thing. And the light gray dye I get from obviously from uh, all these other flowers. Now the reason some of those are a little more empty than you would expect, because I have almost oh no, I did. I have completely filled all of these except for green, which is embarrassingly missing one. And then of course gray and black, because uh that's that's not in this farm. Uh, for that, I'm going to need a squid farm, but I will get to that another day. For right now, though, this is my dye farm here, and that means that I'll be able to uh, gather materials much more easily, which hopefully means I'll be able to make uh, more giant Pokemon videos, and I'll be able to make them even faster than I have been. But yeah, you guys, I think that will do it for me. Unfortunately, I need to find a better exit for this thing, as when I drop down there, I'm going to be swarmed with mobs or not i've already been blown up twice by a creeper in here there they are i knew i was hearing something and then of course the worst mob of all oh <laughs> i was trying to shoot him oh light blue die okay maybe 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 you're not so bad hi but yes this is my blossom or bell awesome i should say but yeah this is blossom here and i think that she came out i missed and i think that she came out a pretty darn good but yes, that's it for me, you guys. I uh, have obviously been working, as I think you may have uh, been able to tell from any other videos I posted. I've also been playing Pokemon Scarlet, and I even have plans to build some giant Pokemon from that game in the near future. So stick around. I've got more to come, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!